guys, Webchip here with a brand new review of the LEGO Ninjago Katana 4x4. Now this is set 70675, retailed for $50 and has 450 pieces. Originally, when this set came out back in 2019, I was not really a big fan of it, but then I saw it in Secrets of Urban Spinjitsu and wanted it a little bit more, and then when I saw it in Prime Empire, I knew it was about time to get it. I put it on my Christmas list, but I didn't actually end up getting it until the new year, which was such a cool surprise, as I had a couple Christmas gifts left over and that was one of them. But of course, all nostalgic memories aside, let's first take a look at the Katana 4x4. Now this thing is actually a really sweet car. It's huge and big, and it's kind of like a truck car in a sense. You'll More on that later, of course. But this thing is just massive and has a pretty cool play feature. So first off, this grill up here uses a lot of these pieces that I know personally from LEGO Hidden Side as sort of the Ghost Warriors. They are weapons from LEGO Hidden Side. But of course, this truck has one main play feature, and that comes into play with this giant giant saw in the front. So you can sort of see right here, you can sort of push on this little knob on the side and the saw comes out. Now this play feature is a little interesting to me because it works about half of the time, but when it does work, it's really cool. So you just see you sort of push on this lever in the back and the saw sort of pops out. When it does pop out, however, it really spins and it spins pretty fast. However, over the Christmas break, my brother accidentally stepped on it, so that might have something to do with why it's not spinning. But I remember when I first built it, it spun pretty well but there's a couple of rubber pieces and they sort of just rub against the technic pin there to sort of give it the saw design of course when it is out of course you can i guess uh spin it right in front of you and sort of use the knob at the front like the technic gear but of course the main play feature is that you push on it however again like i said even though my brother did step on it it only worked about half of the time when i had it built so i'm gonna guess it'd be pretty tough for younger kids now there's another really cool play feature on this thing and all it does is when you press down on this a spring-loaded shooter comes out, or a spring-loaded missile. Now, these are pretty cool. They're in trans orange, which I, again, really like. It really feels like Kai's shooting fire at you, but you just press down on the hood up here, and it fires them off. It's sort of like a plate measuring system, and it's just such a cool little detail that they added to the set that I just really enjoy. There's a kind of couple of stickers up here. You see just a couple of these nice flame yellow, which I really enjoy. There's a couple of other ones on the back, too, which we'll see in a minute. One second, but you can just sort of see in the back, you got a couple more of those flame yellow stickers. Again, I really like the flame yellow for Kai. This cockpit is also really nice. They use a printed piece for this dome up here. I absolutely love that, and I just love the sort of bubble design that they got for Kai. Each side, there are actually two stickers on this glass part, sort of just, I guess, to round off the design of it. On the inside, you got a couple of consoles, as well as a steering wheel, as well as this pretty good built of a seat. I very much like that, but again, this car can really only fit one minifigure driving, but you can fit him with the sword, which is pretty nice, and something that I really appreciate. Moving on to the back, or I guess not the back but the side of the car you can see we got a couple of nice little engines right here these just have a couple of exhaust on them it's actually kind of cool they use some some technic pieces to get some nice i guess detailing those each have a sticker on them so if you wanted i guess to uh i guess pretend to fill them up with gas or something that'd be pretty fun i like that little detail i like how they have little energy bars on them too moving on you can also see these flame pieces they're able to rotate and they kind of rock back and forth when moving the car so that's pretty cool i mean it's pretty funny when you think about it kai is using his power to power his new car. <laughs> Pretty funny. Now this car has one major flaw to it and that is there's no suspension which I kind of feel like is a big missed opportunity to the whole car I guess. In the back you can sort of see this truck bed which is what I was talking about earlier which you can fit I guess Nia or the little side build that comes in the set. I don't really know what you're intended to put there but I guess you're supposed to put Nia there. There's this nice little flag up on the top which has a couple of stickers on each side which I you know you can move it back and forth which I already showed you. Now this truck bed also has some pretty cool detailing in it or not not in it. It, but above it, or I guess right next to it, which sort of has this little toolbar. Now this toolbar, you can lift up the flap, and it's got a couple of these little uh, pieces that come from the accessory pack, which is actually kind of cool. I really like getting those, and having at least some storage to put them is really nice. The rest of the vehicle, or not the rest of the vehicle, the rest of the weapons are, again, scattered across this thing. There's also some pretty nice wheel caps on this thing, which I absolutely love those. Those are brand new for this season, and I just really like those. Again, those wheel caps are just so cool. 
Now, besides, of course, the Nia Forbidden Spinjitsu Spinner, we get the scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu Stand. Now, this little stand is actually really cool. I love the different rock pieces that they use from next night, so I guess show this hardening lava, and I love the little orange piece to hold it, as well as the gray snakes on each side. Those are really cool. As for the scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu, we actually get all three of the scrolls in the set, which is a really cool thing if you wanted to have the ice version, or the fire, or I guess the earth. It's not really the earth, it's more of the normal version, but this thing is on Honestly, so cool, and I absolutely love getting this, especially when any time we get a Forbidden Spinjitzu Spinner. Speaking of Forbidden Spinjitzu Spinners, here is Nia's. Now this has a really nice color scheme of dark gray and blue, as well as like this glitter inside of it. I absolutely love getting these things, and they're always such a treat, and such a pleasure to get. Again, these things are just so cool, and they're actually pretty ex exclusive. As you can see, this spinner rolls very well, or not rolls, spins very well, which I just really enjoy. These things are so satisfying to spin. Again, these things emulate Spinjitzu almost perfectly, if you ask me, and they don't even look Forbidden Spinjitzu you know outside of the context I use them in my city even for just regular spinjitsu so it's always nice to get these things which I really appreciate Lego putting in the first minifigure we'll take a look at is Kai now Kai comes in almost every single Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu set so this isn't exactly I guess exclusive or ex exciting to get however it is very nice to get him knowing that these suits are new I guess the now the new common he, this guy comes with his golden sword, as well as the sword in the Sheik, or as like his uh, sword holder, which is pretty nice. You also get Forbidden Spinjitzu Nia in the set. Now this actually is pretty good, especially when you look at the light through the hair. That looks so cool. Now in a lot of lighting though, you don't get that nice blue color coming through. It's more just like a gunmetal gray, sort of like that color. So it's always nice to get a good color for Nia's. Then, of course, in the set, you also get a Pyro Viper, or a Pyro, I don't really know, a Pyro, Pyro Slayer, I think it is. This guy has an awesome head mold. These guys are gotta be some of my favorite of Ninjago's armies. Easily just such cool villains. I love the mummified torso on the bottom, and just the whole head mold itself is so complex, with that trans orange going all the way through the neck and then the coat and the frail. I also really like this guy's weapon with sort of that, I guess, uh, Lord of the Rings weapon, as well as this nice gunmetal, uh, what is that, metal shield? You also in the set get a Pyro Whipper. Now this guy is also exclusive, one of the two exclusive minifigures of the set. This guy is so cool. This guy has the exact same torso and legs as the Pyro Slayer, as well as the exact same armor as Char, who also comes in the set. I do like his whip though, and this guy is pretty cool. Last in the set, we have Char. Now Char is a very funny character in the show, but in the sets he's so intimidating. I really like his staff, which uses some more of those gray snakes, as well as just this guy's whole design. I love the black, as well as the rubber for the tail. The black head and the orange just work well, so well together. And then the gunmetal, again, copper, I think that's the right color, is perfect for this guy. So, overall, what do I think of this set? Well, I think you guys already know, I really like it. Personally, it's not one of my favorite Kai vehicles, and at $50, it seems a little bit overpriced, but overall, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. I mean, if you do have Char and all those minifigures, it's pretty good. Well, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye!